welcome to today's upload my name's emma stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and today we are back with a vintage youtube classic video we're going to be discussing favorites now as we all know fall yes i'm aware i live in england and it is autumn but i like to call it fall um Autumn slash fall is my favourite time of the year. I have so much I love about it. And will it get to November and I possibly say that Christmas is my favourite time of the year? Sure. But we're going to embrace that at this moment, whilst I'm sat here in front of you, this is my favourite time of year. I am looking out of my window at some beautiful red, red, red leaves. It is just the best. So I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff that crops up on here and also on my Instagram that people want to know more about and I can do some recommendations. We're going to have some telly, we're going to have some books, we're going to have a candle, we're going to have some clothes, we're going to have all the things. I am very excited. If you ever have any questions about anything I wear or chat about or where can you watch this or, you know, definitely always direct message me, leave a comment on a post, leave a comment on a video and I will try and help you out the best I can. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is I get a lot of questions about my phone case check this out so this is from love cases i got the phone case which i think was eight pounds and then i also added a pop socket i love a pop socket because it means i can do this and take pictures <laughs> but can you see it is like pumpkin lee uh, pumpkin spice lattes leaves um acorns and it is just gorgeous and i'm definitely gonna pop back over Christmas and see what festive ones they're having. They also have a Mickey pumpkin one. I should have brought that down, but that's what it says. They also have a Mickey pumpkin phone case. Love, love, love that. Oh, talking about phones. Stephen and I have been loving playing Royal Match. If you have not got this game, you need to get on it ASAP. Fall, autumn, is all about staying in, being cosy being competitive with your other half. So Royal Match is a brilliant game. It's completely free to download. There's no annoying ads and it is just so much fun. And Steve and I are currently being very competitive about leveling up. What level are you on? You need to get the next level. Now, is he always gonna beat me? Possibly. Stephen possibly is always going to beat me, but I think I'm going to try and get my mom and dad onto it as, as well, because like dad's now got an iPhone. He's also got an iPad, which, um, we treated him to when he was in hospital, so he could play on the iPhone against mom. Now, I don't think I'm ever gonna beat Stephen in Royal Match, but I do think that I could possibly, sorry dad, I know you watch these, I do think I could beat my dad. I do think I could beat my dad. I do think I could level up enough, get to a higher level more than my dad. Unsure about mom? Cause mom likes a little, uh, a little competitive game on a phone, but um, we will have to see. It features, castle and as we all know i have a little bit of a soft spot for certain castles especially castles that reside in florida and one that resides in paris that i might be seeing quite soon so i will leave some information below about royal match go and check it out as i say it's free no annoying apps really super fun if you are staying in the house it's the perfect little game to play whilst you have a box set on and ignoring each other on the uh, couch trying to get a higher level so definitely definitely go and check that out another electronic thing i thought i would talk about is my kindle so i bought a kindle in the summer and everybody wanted to know what one it was and i haven't had a chance to show you i got a paper white kindle and it has a cover which came from amazon and the cover means it like turns itself off which is very handy i love books but I love my Kindle. And I have been reading a book recently, which is I'm Glad My Mom Died. It is phenomenal. I will do a little bit of a trigger warning. There are some like real tough topics in it. Oh my gosh, guys, it is such a good book. If you wanna kind of have a bit more of a background, go to the Red Table Talk with um, Jada Pinkett Smith on Facebook and you can watch a bit about it before you perhaps buy it. I love it. In fact, I've just bought it for my friend Sarah for her birthday. It is so good. The lady who wrote it, Jeanette, she was in a TV program called Sam and Cat that my kids used to watch loads when they were like little. So such a good book. Highly recommend that. Highly recommend this as a Kindle. This might be something you want to um, get for like on your Christmas list or um, for a birthday treat, but really, really, really good. You can read at night without disturbing your other half. Perfecto. Shall we start? 
I feel like I had a candle of the month song when I used to do these. It's the candle of the month. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so here we go. The candle of the month, the candle of the season, the candle of fall, autumn is Caramel Whirl and it's a Yankee candle, but it's a home inspiration one. My sister the other day said, what's that smell, where can I get it? And we got it in the outlets. Um, I got this size and I also got a small one for my office upstairs. It is gorgeous. I find a lot of the pumpkin uh, candles quite heady. Don't be talking to me about the green Yankee candles. We know I'm not a fan of those. But this is nice and subtle. It smells like fudge. It smells like, I mean, like caramel. Clue is in the title. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is downstairs in my living room. It is fantastic. Should we talk about clothes first or TV? Clothes, TV, TV, TV. Guess who's back? Yes, they're back. Sister wives, sister wives, sister wives are back. Ooh, 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 ooh. So somebody, I put on my Instagram, sister wives are back. Oh, it's so exciting. Somebody's like, what's sister wives? So in a nutshell, here is sister wives, the plot. Cody has got four wives. They all hate each other. Seemingly, Cody seems to hate most of them apart from one of them called Robin. And then that is the topic of every season. Every single season is the same plot. Between them, I think they've got 18 children. Um, they're having grandkids now and all sorts. But the plot is Cody, wives, they all hate each other. They often hate Cody and repeat. And it is classic, classic television. The hours of joy I have spent watching Sister Wives. The episodes are about an hour long. I feel last season they might have been an hour and a half long. Like, that's a lot of TV. But Sister Wives, get on it. You could start now and it you, you wouldn't have missed anything because it's the same. It's the same plot. So Sister Wives back and also... Salt Lake City's back. Real Housewives, Salt Lake City. And this is a great gateway Real Housewives for you, my friends. Because it's only had two seasons. This is its third season. So you can spend a weekend watching two seasons. Or maybe, you know, if you've got kids and responsibilities and you have to feed small humans, you could watch a couple of episodes a night and you've caught up. And then we're on to episode, um, season three. And it's only been a few episodes of that. It is... Great, and if you have not seen Real Housewives of um, Salt Lake City, you're missing out. And I always get asked my recommendations of other Real Housewives. I love them all, but I really love Real Housewives of New York. It has my heart. And I also love the Real Housewives girls trips. I watch these on Hey You, which I get via my Prime. I think it's about 2 99 a month, and it has a bazillion. It's got Below Deck, it's got Summer House, it's got um, Southern Charm, which I love so. Chef's Kiss, if you want a bit of cosy television, if you want to play your royal match, watching a bit of cosy television in, in a new dressing gown, bliss. Shall we move on to clothes? So I have um, been looking for some nice jeans. I did mention this on my Instagram and I'm going to be trying some more on. I probably won't be buying any more, but I might pop into shops and do some try on for you because... Um, People seem to like that. And if you are a similar sort of size to me, which is 18, you know, English 18, um, five foot six, then I've got a bit of a belly, then go and check out my Instagram. I've got all sorts of try-ons there. And these are two pairs of jeans that I got from the outfit. They're Levi's. Uh, I went for a dark blue pair. They are skinny jeans. They're not the mom jeans. Or what? what, what is the trendy thing that people say? Mom jeans? Is it, is it, boyfriend jeans we need a video of me trying to fit in Stephen's jeans because that would go viral <laughs> I would get trapped and have to be cut out so I went for the 310 shaping super skinny in the size 18 you could possibly size down um, in this so you could perhaps try and fit in a 16 because they do come up quite big I would say that the size 18 in the black is perfect because black clothes always run a bit smaller I don't know why I can't remember what the fact is but it is a fact please leave in the comments if you can remember the fact because I can't um also I've had to buy a lint roller because Margot 
has seemingly left all of every single piece of fur on her body on these trousers. But these are great. Wear them with Converse, wear them with your docks, wear them with, um, you know, the little short Uggs that people love. And talking about docks, I get a lot of questions about my docks. These are the pair, I'll do it up close, close so you can see why these are great docks for people who are worried about the docks being uncomfortable. They are a soft leather dock. They have a zip, so um, you don't have to have them as tight. The platform is super cushioned and they are just, I absolutely love them. I wonder if they've got the code or the name on the bottom so I could tell you. I will leave, I'll let you know below. They're so comfy. People want to know how I wore them in because they can, um, docks can sometimes rub. For the first week I had them, I wore um, really thick bed socks. Yes, I sleep in socks at night. Don't judge me. Um, really, really thick woolly socks and I wore them around the house like that and that wore them in and I went out the other day you might have seen a vlog and I went round to the seaside all day I am going to be taking these to Paris so I will let you know how I get in on in Disney in them and maybe this is another thing perhaps you could add to your Christmas list I am fairly certain if you get them via the Doc Martens site if you sign up you get 10 or 15 percent off they're not cheap they're not a cheap purchase isn't they? about 100 it was not cheap but I mean you can have these for like years. These are the kind of shoes that you pass down to your kids. These are the kind of shoes my kids could wear now because it transpires that one of them is now a size six and one of them is very close to size six. My children could, my children that I grew have grown to fit this shoe. That is unacceptable. And Let's go back in time to February 2022. An innocent Emma, a, a, a hopeful Emma, a, a positive Emma, said to, to you, her people, she said, I'm gonna wear this coat to Iceland and this coat doesn't do up and it's gonna be fine. And, and you, the people, said to Emma, you said, that's not gonna be fine. You're gonna be really, really, really cold in that coat. In fact, if you take that coat with you, it's probably, it's, it's going to ruin some of your time. Then I was like, don't be foolish. No one needs a coat to do up on holiday. And then it was the worst weather. It was the worst weather that Stephen, I, Erin and Ethan have ever experienced. Ethan was blown one way. His Harry, Harry Potter hat was blown the other way. And you were right. I should have had a coat that, that, I should have had a coat that did up, but I didn't. And for that, I am forever <laughs> sad about. That coat has long since gone to the charity shop and I have purchased a coat that does up. This is from Next. It says it's shower resistant. I'm always wonder, wondering if shower resistant means like really, really bad rain resistant, but we'll see. I'm gonna try it on for you. Now. I know some of you are going to say this looks a bit big and be cross at me again because when I put it on this bit here does look a bit big okay it's like double layered but when I do the zipper it's fine okay so it's next shower resistant I wanted it it's a size 18 uh, I think I look a little, a little bit country chic. I think I could probably go and walk the dog around the country lanes of Birmingham. I mean, there's no country lanes of Birmingham, down the Hagley Road. Uh, but it's quite long, and I wanted it to go over my chunk in it so it did up, that, you know, wouldn't ruin my whole day because everything was not fitting inside. So that is my new coat purchase. I hope you like it. And it is double protected, so you've got an extra layer there. That looks very farmery, doesn't it? That looks like I've just... Tally-ho! I've just... gone from milking a cow or something. Can you tell I don't know much about farms? So there we go. 
that's my favourite. As I said, if you have any questions about anything else, this jumper is from Next. It is old. Um, go and check out my Instagram. As I mentioned earlier, I did a reel all about autumn outfits. If you have any other questions about anything else, let me know in the comments. I just love this season. I love it all. I love just the weather, the clothes, the candles, the pumpkin spice latte, the cosy television. Oh, also loving the Kardashians as well. Oh, I love you lots and I'll see you very, very soon for another upload.